Hey you guys, blessed you Gil here with another high rated DB matchup. A uh, couple of quick things before I just get jump right into the matchup. Um, I apologize to you guys for being so inconsistent with my videos. Uh, I've just been a little sick for a couple days, for the last few days. For like those of you who actually know me in real life uh, and like actually talk to me, yeah, you guys know I've been like uh, sick. I've had like the flu, I think. Uh, my sciences were like pretty stopped up for like the last few days. I didn't want to sound like uh, disgusting and stuff for you guys while I was trying to record. Uh, another thing is I also have another mic coming in. I was gonna start, I was just gonna wait to make videos until my new mic came in, but uh, I didn't want to hold off on you guys. It's been so long since I got to commentate some, I was getting the craving. <laughs> that video I uploaded a couple days ago, that was an old video I had saved for you guys just in case I felt like under the weather or anything, but yeah, so we're just gonna start uh, the matchup today with a virtual world versus Dragon Link. Uh, we have the Illusory Gentleman who's playing Dragling and Jellumon playing uh, Virtual World. So we're just going to go ahead and see who won the roll. So it looks like Dragling's going first. Alright, so he opens Lili, Drone Unlock, Choo Choo, another Drone Unlock, and Lao Lao. Uh, so if Virtual World actually went first, he couldn't even start his turn. Uh, he doesn't have any normal summonable uh, Virtual World, and he doesn't have like. Uh, Chin long, anything to like extend really. Um, this is like the problem with virtual world to me. Like, people always say like it's obviously the best deck, but like sometimes you just can't start your turn. But like whenever you can play, like you can majority majority of the time just play. If, uh, people aren't like prepared for your matchup too, because like a lot more people are preparing for Drytron now. So like that just gives virtual world more of an advantage on top of that too. Uh, and then Dragon Links opens Chambermaid, Quick Launch, Chambermaid. Quick launch and Ash Blossom. Uh, so, like, opening double quick launch isn't bad because you know it's not once per turn, so that's just pretty much two rockets, uh, depending on the number of rockets you play. Uh, but opening double chambermate isn't really that good uh, as you're only using one of them to get to tidy. Um, that's probably going to be just his opening play, it's going to chambermate to get tidy and then probably going to striker, quick launch, continue, etc. Romulus. Um, he should get drone unlocked after. The tidying, uh, and that should actually be very impactful against this deck because Dragling just the searches a lot, so he shouldn't be able to get boot sector and all that stuff off a of striker dragon. So if he searches tidying, he's just 100% just draw here. Oh, yeah, so he draws him. So he goes in a quick launch. See, like this would be a really good play to where like you can make like a bull savage, um, but you don't have any leak materials in your graveyard. What can you do? Because, like, you have another quick launch as well. Um, yeah, I mean, you can pop the... Hmm, oh, yeah, you can make... You can Chambermaid into the Striker Dragon. Pop the... Pop the Striker Dragon with Tracer. Uh, especially some of the other guy to your deck. Make a Savage and equip Striker Dragon and Savage, I guess. I was gonna need a fiber. Okay, maybe it's just better than me. I just don't really play Dragon Link a lot, so like the plays I see, I just I can tell if they're correct, like after they do them, but like I don't really it's hard it's kinda hard for me to like look to what look into the plays they're doing now because like Link Cross, all that stuff is gone. It was pretty pretty obvious like what they were doing before. And he also got drills, so like he has to take a, a alternate right route. Rocket Sync is pretty good. He's going to quick launch again for Tracer. I'm pretty sure Tracer's going to pop Rocket Synchro. Oh no, it makes LP. Oh my god, I'm just I'm just dumb. I forgot. <laughs> it just has full combo. I think so. That's going to get Striker Dragon, LP effect. Special and Safer. Turn Safer into Pesty. Striker, pop the needle. Then he goes in the deal. Shout out to shout out to uh shout out to Grinder. This is this is his dude, and he's coming super rare, bro. This is his dude. This is his dude. He loves deal, bro. Piss the switch back to tracer. Tracer. 
going to be the ball savage for two. That's pretty good. You have ball savage tidying. Uh, yeah, both sides of two negates and tidy, and that's still a drawing lock. So your opponent only has five cards to play with after the draw for turn. And you can stop three of them. I think that's pretty good. Especially with, like, Virtual World when, when you're already going, like, normal summon a guy, right? So, like, if I'm tidying that off, off bat, like, you don't really have... Like, if I'm tidying that to, like, when you chain your... Like, when you go, like, reveal, if I'm just tidying on your reveal, like, you lose your guy, you lose your normal summonable guy... And like you have to have Ching Long to like extend. The new trap for Virtual World is crazy, but this guy is definitely just gonna set Tucci pass or like just scoop if anything. But he has a Gamma to attempt to stop some, maybe stop a, a Boral Savage. He can try to like draw lock him again, and then maybe try to like have Savage do that and then like Gamma the Savage. So he's gonna end phase tying. Which is disgusting, like, cause you can just bounce back real. Uh, that's 3k with two negates. I'm pretty sure at this point, I mean, he has Ash Blossom for Gamma too. So, like, he can just Ash it. Like, Gamma will go back to hand, but, like, you just won't play into it after that point. He drew Monster Boy, basically. He drew, uh, Legacy Guard Dragon. That, that, that should just put game on board by itself, to be honest. Tidying, special chambermaid, chambermaid of, get another tidying. Or just hospitality. Uh, I didn't, actually didn't see a lot of people playing this card, but I saw like a good 75% of people playing it. Uh, it's it's pretty good, though. It's, it's not a bad card at all. Because it, it's like, it's like, um, what was that, when Metaphors came out, what was that, uh, what was that card? You you send you send a vanilla guy and then if it and then if it was a vanilla you, like you send a dude from your deck and feels vanilla you send another one. That card's pretty much like what hospitality is except instead of like foolish and two you're specially one and then sending one so like it's actually pretty good. So it's gonna draw him after that, of course. Like I said, uh, and then Boral Savage actually lets that resolve. He was trying to bait the Savage so he can gamma it, and it's, that's pretty good illusionary just to be like all right that doesn't affect me here. Uh, it essentially was only stopping him from getting a boot sector. So he's going to go uh, Guard Dragon for Tracer. Uh, and then he's going to go Dale Effect. Oh yeah, that's Boral Sword. <laughs> yeah, that's game. That's Boral Sword, Boral Savage. It's so, like he's just going to Battle Phase. If you got Nib, you got to have like yeah, I don't even think he's summoned five times this turn, to be honest. I wasn't counting. I looked away for like half a second. But yeah, that should just be game. I would have scooped uh, when he summoned a sword. I was just a very unfortunate hand for the Virtual World player, too, on top of that. Not being able to, like, reveal anything to attempt to start his turn and get the only two negates off of Boral Savage. So, like, that way, if you're not playing right, you, like, you can try to make sure your Gamma at least resolves on his turn. Cause like to be fair, Gamma was like the most powerful card he had in that hand. Like the hand was pretty bad. Like so, of course, this time uh, Virtual World will be going first. Oh, okay. So Virtual World opens La La Triple Tactics Talents Chain Long Nib Desires. Not too good. Uh, he only has one Virtual World monster. Um, La La is probably one of the better ones, but it's not Lulu. Uh. His desire should probably net him some free cards. I'd probably desires first, but he is going to get nibbed. So if his hand's not strong enough to play nib after the desires, he is going to be rough for him here. But he also has an abir for his opponent. Uh, and then Dragon Link opens World Legacy Guard Dragon, Rocket Synchro, Chaos Space, and Abir. Yeah, so louder. <sighs> uh, he opens Absol Rider as well. So he opens. Um, Pretty decent. He yeah, has chaos space, which is like the main thing you want, and you have like a high impact hand trap versus your opponent. So let's see how this plays. Uh, if I'm virtual world person, the first thing I'm doing here is I'm desiring. I'm trying to get some more cards. So yeah, he's just gonna desires. Ooh, draw gamma and card. That's just not good. Um, so like one thing I always say, and I don't know, like if a lot of people agree with me. Um. If you're going first 
if you know you're going first, like, and I know, like, Virtual World says, like, they want Gamma in the deck, so, like, their Ash Box, so, like, their Desires Resolves, or, like, their City Resolves, I mean, stuff like that, but, like, essentially, like, if you're going first, why do people keep in Gamma? I just never get that. I never get that. I always take that card out when I'm going first. I never get that. Like, I just, I never get that to me. I, it, it's always going to be a break. The only times it's not going to be a break is if you open playable already and your opponent opens uh, a hand trap. So, like, if you open playable and your opponent opens a hand trap, fine. But, like, if you're putting it, if you already have cards and, like, talents and call by the graves, you're making it very, very uh, redundant to have that many amount of cards in your deck, like, when you're going first. I just, please, like, if you play Virtual World, just do not put in Gamma going. Like, I know you're trying to stop, like, stand my face, Lances, and stuff like that, but, like, you just take those at that point. Like, you don't want to make your deck worse for Lance here. Like, especially when, like, people focusing on Dry Tribe more anyway. You know what I mean? Like, I just think that's very incorrect. I don't know. I mean, I could be wrong. I just think that's very incorrect. Because, uh, like, you see, he's literally going to go set call. But, I mean, he can activate King Long Special Lao Lao. But, he, he's, yeah, he's not, he just says, nah. <laughs> Illusion the gentleman says, I feel kind of lucky. Galuma says, you should, bro. <laughs> Ooh, he drew Levy and Infantry. That is gas. That's gas. That's like always one of your better extenders. You want a hard draw. So he, he should just be starting his turn chaos space. Um, I don't think you discard the nib here. I think you save that in case you get like nibbed yourself. But like this hand looks like you can almost play through nib to be honest. Um, are we discarding the... I think we're just going to go discard Absol Router. That way we can just get a tracer from our deck too. Yeah, I think that's the play. Oh, he's not. He's not even going to cast what he said. He's going to go normal rocket, special, Absol Router. Okay. Oh, I, I love this guy. He's going to mail five. That's so good. And he's going to add a, a tracer. And he's going to call by the app, so. Which is fair. Uh, I'm trying to think if it was a better target to use. And, uh, probably, probably to be honest, like, when he, when he World Legacy Guard Dragons, or like when he uses Pisty, because Pisty targets. So, like, if you target it in Grave and I banish you, you don't get the special from the banner zone. That's just not how that works. So, I, th I think at this kind of point, he already normal summoned him. We let him get the Tracer anyway. Cause like, you lost Call by and got Tracer anyway. He's going to cast base and scar Trace for Wild Muster. So, yeah, he should just be able to play through the Rock here, no problem. It's going to summon the Wyvern Buster. That's going to get Striker. Striker get Boost Sector. He's thinking with a Gamma. Um. To be honest, I actually think that if you were going to Gamma, so at the point I Gamma, I probably would have still lost to Chaos Space, kind of. Or, like, you can save your Gamma for Boral Savage Effect, but, like, if you're trying to make sure your Gamma Nib resolves, you definitely could Gamma the Chaos, like, he could have went Chain 3 Gamma on the Chaos Ruler. And chain link four. Oh no, Absa was chain link two. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. Absa was chain link two. Okay, yeah. So, so yeah, it was just smart to hold the gamma for like a better play there. I definitely wouldn't have hit striker dragon with it though. I wouldn't have. I would have not hit striker dragon. So he summons black from deck. I mean from hand. Bench and white, and then cast space is gonna add back white, which is really good. A lot of people don't know to do that. They always put back other stuff. Oh, your dragons are at one, might as well just loop them. Uh, Romulus. Uh, I think you actually... I think you actually, uh... Oh, yeah, you use Blackest, too. Yeah, so you can't, you can't Romulus, you can't Gamma that either. 
at this point, I'm pretty sure you're just trying to make your Nibiru resolve, right? Like, you, you, you're going to go to Nibiru, wherever he has a big board, uh, and then, like, when he has a negate on board, too, because, like, it doesn't matter at that point, and then you just gamma his negate. And then your Nib's going to trigger your driver and stuff anyway, so, like, you can use pre next more gambles next turn if he clears your Nibiru. So I'm going to LP, LPF, make bull sword, uh, so you, you have, you have to Nibiru, like, right here, and there's not even in the gate, so, it's like you, you, you don't eat anything by doing this, uh, he was just trying to make it simple, and, uh, what's him call it, just, like, attack for, attack for game, which is, which is what he did game one, so it's pretty smart, uh, he doesn't want to drag the game out and put up a, a bunch of negates. So he rocks. Puts the token in the middle. Whenever I rock, because I play Drytron, I always put the token right here so I can take you with a Nemo if it's really big. People don't know that. Like, I gave my opponent a fat ass token one time. It was like 70 something, bro. And then I, and I just put it right here. And he's like, alright. And I'm like, Nova? He's like, yeah. I'm like, make a Nemo. He like okay, I'm like Nima effect. Equip. He's like, alright, I'm like, attack with the barrel and Nima. He's like, what? I'm like, yeah, that's like ten K. Like, what? Like, yeah. Nima's kinda cracked. It's going to, gonna go on a striker dragon. Pop itself, add back recharger. Recharger F. Like, people don't know, Recharge can special summon any dragon, any dark dragon. Then, like, as long as it wasn't the same thing that was originally targeted, like, it's really, you, you, like, you can't really stop this. <laughs> so, that's going to attack the Nib. Uh, gain the attack. Chaos Ruler is going to attack. And he's going to boil sword, swing Chaos Ruler defense and attack again. So, like, as you can see, like, if you're a good Dragon League player, I'm pretty sure the deck will just thrive. Uh, it's one of those decks that just doesn't die. It's very resilient because it has so much recurrence in it. Uh, and you just play through stuff so well. It has so many extenders built in built in into the deck that it's kind of hard to prepare the correct hand traps to stop it. Uh, it's very easy when you see what kind of line the line of play they're taking. Like when uh, Link Cross and Needle Fire was on, like there was one clear line of play that was like the correct play, and like everybody would take that route. So like it was easy to stop them. When you, when you know what route they're taking, but when dragons are playing freestyle, like, it's kind of hard to stop them, and you don't know, like, what you're stopping, actually. It's a very skillful deck, to be honest. Uh, you can play through almost any hand trap at almost any point, depending on how strong your hand is. Uh, it doesn't have to be, like, super insane either. Uh, just having, like, two or three of the correct pieces at the right time or searching the right stuff uh, matters a 100%. Also, zoning matters as well. Um, with that being said, you know what I mean? I just want to say, uh, Virtual World has been falling out of favor of a lot of people. Uh, VFD is still really crazy. Um, it was just consistency issues for the deck right now, I feel like, that people are dropping it. Um, everybody knows VFD is a card. Uh, everybody knows the next ban is should be banned. Um, everybody's fear that Ben Tan is going to go get banned or go to one or something like that. Uh, I just think like there's bigger problems in the format, um, to be honest. Like, Elder Lord... Uh, all those cards, like, those are cards that are kind of insane. Uh, so, that deck should definitely be checked before we, like, we, like, give it a pass too much. Like, we ignore it too much, and it just, everyone has, just has to play it at that point. Um, Virtual World is actually going to probably be the best deck once the new trap comes out. It's like a monster or born trap. Uh, it, it will probably still have the consistency issues, because, like, the trap doesn't fix the consistency issues of the deck starting. Uh, it just helps the deck to keep going, you know what I mean, it's like, you probably, probably won't lose to, like, Nib anymore, with, a, with an average hand now, you know what I'm saying, just because of the trap card, um, but with that being said, you guys, a couple quick shots from my sponsor, shout out to Pandemonium Gaming, Midwest Gaming, TDT Gaming, you guys should be able to see, the, uh, a link to all three in my description below, also, for my next matchup versus Grinder series, I'll actually be putting my poll up today, uh, on... Zodiac, it'll be. I'll put my poll up today on Zodiac and let you guys vote uh, what decks you guys wants to play against each other. So uh, be sure to check that out. Uh, I don't know what he's gonna do for his side of the loan, so you guys can vote for him. But this this will be strictly just for me. Uh, 
So yeah, guys, with that being said, let's do it. Signing out. Peace. Good to be back too.